say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt stay with me until the last man falls i don't need them anyway when i'm with you i have it all oh, oh i'll never let you slip away oh, oh, oh and you don't have to be afraid i will hold you till the sun comes crashing down I'm yours until the end of time Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a complete pantry makeover. As you've heard in my previous videos, if you're a subscriber, I live in an apartment and the storage here is very limited and so we sometimes struggle to find a place for things. This pantry is actually located in the closet with the water heater, which by the way is not a good thing. You're really not supposed to store food near it, but we really don't have a choice here. So I'm just going to tidy this space up to where it will be a lot less risky. For the past six months, we have shoved things in here and just thought out of sight, out of mind, but it's gotten out of control. And so I'm going to take some time today to make this space work for us. Okay, so basically I made different categories and you can't really tell because it just looks like one big pile of food, but on this side all of this stuff is random plastic wear that we don't even really use, so I'm probably going to end up taking some of that to Goodwill and donating it. Um, these cans right here, that is all of our vegetables, all of our spaghettios, things like that. All of this stuff right here is our random snack food, cereals, chips, chocolate, peanut butter, stuff like that. Back here behind is our vegetables, our potatoes and our onions and our and our sweet potatoes, things like that. I put our lunch boxes over there. Right here is all of our baking stuff, so our sugar, our brown sugar, cookie mixes, chocolate chips, things like that. And then on the oven, I went ahead and loaded up all of our rice and noodles. And for some reason, we have a overabundance of noodles. We have tons of fettuccine and spaghetti noodles. We eat spaghetti a lot and um, some egg noodles because I love beef stroganoff. So we've got two packages of that. So what I was thinking for the noodles is to get those little plastic containers and organize them like that. Because once you open a package of noodles, if you don't use the whole thing, it's really hard to keep them under control. They like to slide out of the bag. So I'd like to get something with a lid that snaps shut for those. And over here I've got all of our bread, our hamburger buns, our Dave's bread. This is my favorite and I have not been able to find it at the grocery store and that's kind of old so I probably need to toss that. Bought this instead because that's all I could find and then that is Will's root beer and then some random hot sauces that he got in his stocking at Christmas time and paper plates, popcorn, random chips and also our dinosaur cookie jar that I forgot we had so. Okay so here are the things that I found to organize my pantry. I'm going to use these for all of the snacky food and I might even put my cans in here, I haven't decided. I also found something else that I might use for the cans and I'll show you in just a second. Um, I found these cute little chalkboard stickers and I thought I might stick those on the front of these jars and label them with flour, sugar, brown sugar, and powdered sugar, so that's my plan for that. I really wanted to find some chalkboard stickers to put on these um, that kind of hung down. I saw somebody else do that and I love that, but I couldn't find them. So for the time being, I'm going to label with these birthday tags and these are um, cardboard so they should last a while, but they won't be permanent. So I'm going to keep my eye out for some um, chalkboard tags that will hang down and that way I can change them out whenever I want to. So that's what we're working with for now. And then these containers I'm gonna use for cereal. And then these are gonna be for fettuccine and spaghetti noodles. I also found this little drawer situation to put all of my cleaning supplies in. And hopefully that will help that mess that was on the floor of the pantry. This is the other thing that I wanted to show you. It is a cabinet organizer um, riser situation and you can put your cans on it and then they're leveled so you can see all of them. Um, this also extends and gets really long so if you have a lot of cans it's good. Um, but I also want one of these for my spice cabinet because I've really been needing something like this for my spice cabinet 
um, so that I can see all of them. It is a hot mess. So I might get another one of these for the spice cabinet or I might use these for my cans and then just put all of my spices on there. So we will see what I do with that. I'm just going to start by wiping down the water heater. It was full of crumbs and from now on I'm going to try to keep this space completely cleared off. Now that I have the pantry completely cleaned out, I'm going to try to begin by putting each category of food into its own basket. So I had to play around with this a little bit, but I finally got it how I liked it. I used one basket for baking supplies, one for snacks, one for canned goods, and one for rice and bread. I ended up not wanting to display both rice and noodles, so I just chose noodles since we use a lot more of those anyways. The can riser did not end up working out. The shelves were too thin and would not hold them steady, so I'm just going to use that in my spice cupboard in a later video. These pasta containers make me so happy. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows that I eat pasta practically every day, so this is going to be so great. I also loved the way the cereal looked on display, and my sister was actually laughing at me buying all of the random containers, but I don't know what it is, there's just something about everything having a place. When there are no baskets and containers, I just set stuff down wherever, and it gets unorganized so quickly. So I will forever love baskets, bins, and all things organizational. It just makes my heart happy. The process of taking everything out of a space, cleaning it really well, and getting everything organized is really relaxing and therapeutic for me, and it's making my quarantine life so much more bearable. I'm enjoying spring cleaning my apartment, organizing all the different spaces, and then sitting down in the evening and enjoying a delicious meal with my husband. Possibly a walk outside and then Netflix to wind down. These are the things keeping me sane right now, and if you are still watching, comment below what you're doing to maintain a good headspace and to continue being productive. Also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below because that really helps me out. But we should take it slow, work things out so you don't let me go. When I come real close, I don't want to get hurt, cause I'm not ready to give you my heart yet. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you.
For these plastic drawers, I had initially wanted to use them for cleaning supplies, but I decided that I'm going to wait and get a cleaning caddy that I can carry around the apartment with me. So I'm just going to use these drawers to store those plastic odds and ends that I ended up keeping, as well as the potatoes and onions. I needed something for those anyway. We have so many potatoes. We love to eat potatoes, baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, fried potatoes. You name the type of potato and we will eat it. <laughs> Also this week, I'm going to make some potato salad to go with our burgers, so I am really excited about that. For right now, I'm just going to use these temporary cardboard tags to label the baskets so that we know what's inside, but I'm on the search for some little black chalkboard tags like I mentioned earlier that hang down and when I find some, I will show them in a future video. If you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate your support so much and I'm so happy that you're here and I have some really great videos coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe button below and if you are new here, go check out my other recent videos. I would love to see more comments and interaction on my videos, so if you would like, leave a message below so I can talk with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon in my next video.